više. But you're not, and the reason you're not is because of the Lord. A nisam, a nisam zbog toga što je tu Bog. He upholds us with his right hand. On nas drži svojom desnicom, podiže nas. He carries us. On nas nosi. He enables us in every situation to begin to understand what it means to be filled with the spirit. Ona se osposobljava da u svakoj situaciji razumijemo što to znači biti ispunjen duhom. Sunday we're going to talk about um, once we're baptized in the Holy Spirit and filled with the Spirit. U nedjelju ćemo govoriti što se događa kada smo kršteni u Duhu Svetom i ispunjeni duhom. What, what comes after that? Ali što dolazi poslije How do we walk in the Spirit? Kako hodamo u Duhu? How do we hear the Spirit? Kako čujemo Duha? How do we know it's the Spirit speaking to us? Kako znamo da nam Duh govori? Those kinds of questions. Takva pitanja. And we need to know the Holy Spirit. Jer mi znam, trebamo poznavati Duha Svetog. And it's somebody said, well, well, what's the character? What's the Holy Spirit like? I neko je pitao, pa dobro, kakav je karakter Duha Sveta, kak, Svetog, kakav je on? Well, it's Father God. To je Bog Otac. The Son God. Sin Otac. And the Holy Spirit Sin, Bogu, God. Prostite. So there are three in one. I Sveti Duh Bog. Something we don't understand. To je trojstvo, troje u jednom, nešto što they, mi ne razumimo. How they are one, but yet three. Kako su oni troje, a ipak jedno. But they're all alike. I svi su jednaki, so, slični. Jesus said when you see the son, you see the father. Isus je rekao kad vidite sina, vidjeli ste i oca. And when you see the son, you see the Holy Spirit. I kad vidite sina, vidite i Duha Svetoga. I don't think you can tell them apart. Ja mislim da ih ne možete razlikovati. So they move in tandem. Jer oni se kreću u tandemu. And the Holy Spirit is the one who comes to you and speaks to you. A Duh Sveti je onaj koji vam prilazi i govori. And really the bottom line is u stvari bit svega je it takes time, potrebno je vrijeme and you need to know this. i morate poznavati you ovo. Need to know what Jesus says in here. Morate znati što Isus u ovdje kaže. Because that's how you know how he talks. Tako znate kako on govori. That's how you know what he does. I tako znate što on radi. And maybe you'll hear something that you think might be the Holy Spirit. I možda ćete čuti nešto za što ćete pomisliti da je Duh Sveti. And the way you find out if you're not sure is you find it in here. Način na koji možeš to provjeriti je da nađeš to ovdje. He never talks against himself. Jer on nikad ne govori protiv sebe samog. He doesn't change his mind. It's written in here. On ne mijenja svoje mišljenje. To piše tu. The word says this is a more sure word of prophecy. Riječ kaže da je ovo sigurna riječ proročanstva. So whether it's prophecy? Dakle, ako je proroštvo. Word of wisdom? Ili mudrost. It matches up to this. Mora se slagati s ovime. So, Jesus said if you seek him with all of your heart. Isus kaže ako ga tražimo cijelim svojim srcem. You'll find him. Naći ćemo ga. Now I'm 64. Dakle ja imam 64 godine. So, I've known Jesus for 44 years. I poznajem Isusa 44 godine. So, I've had a lot of time to read this. Imala sam puno vremena da ovo čitam. And, and talk to him and get to know him. Da pričam s njim i da ga upoznam. Now, I probably haven't read as much of this as I probably should have. Vjerojatno nisam to pročitala onoliko koliko When sam trebala. I didn't trebala. take the time to read the word, but I wasted it on something else. I vjerojatno sam trošila vrijeme na nešto drugo. So I probably could know him even more. I vjerojatno bi ga mogla bolje poznavati. And he doesn't love me more than he loves you. I on mene ne voli ništa više nego što voli vas. He doesn't love me more than he loves you. On ne voli mene više od vas. But maybe I love him more than you do. Ali možda ja njega volim više nego vi. But I've just had more time. Ali imala sam više vremena. But he said if you seek him with all of your heart you'll find him. Jer on kaže ako ga tražite cijelim svojim srcem naći ćete ga. And you know it's like a great marriage. I to je kao dobar brak. It just gets better and better and better. Postaje sve bolji i bolji i bolji. When I first came to know my husband, kad I, sam tek upoznala svog muža, I thought I loved him. <laughs> mislila sam da ga volim. Um, and you know, you're Twitter pated, we we call it. <laughs> you're Twitter pated. Ah, oh. <laughs> i onda strepčete očima ovako. But now we've been married 42 years and ali I love him more than I ever did then. I, ali sad smo u braku 42 godine i volim ga više nego ikad prije. And it's like that with the Lord. I he, tako je i sa Gospodom. He just gets so much better. On postaje sve bolji. And you understand so much more. I toliko više razumijete. Why did I have to go through that? Zašto sam morala proći kroz to? Some of you know that Mark had cancer. Um, dakle, oh, neki možda znaju da je... Five years ago? 
prije pet godina Mark imao rak. And it was so aggressive we weren't sure if Mark was going to be around. I bio je tako agresivan da nismo bili sigurni da će preživjeti. A very difficult time. Vrlo vrlo teško vrijeme. We left the people that we loved in Europe. Ostavili smo ljude koje smo voljeli iza sebe u Europi. And that was a mourning time, a death for Mark. I to je bilo jedno vrijeme žalovanja za Marka, vrijeme smrti. I don't have time to even go into part of it, but I, it was very, very difficult. I nemam vremena sad uopće zalaziti u to, ali bilo je vrlo, vrlo teško. So women know if it's difficult for your husband, then it's difficult for you. A žene znaju ako je to, ako je nešto teško za vašeg supruga, onda je teško i za vas. And I remember asking the Lord. I sjećam se da sam pitala gospoda. Why did this have to be so hard? Zašto je ovo trebalo biti tako teško? And I didn't hear anything for a second. I ništa nisam čula. And then I heard him speak to me and say, "You got to know me better, didn't you?" I onda mi je rekao, a, trebala si mene bolje upoznati, zar ne? And I had to say yes. I morala sam reći da. Those times drive us to the cross. Jer takva vremena nas privlače Bogu. I don't know. If, I don't know if the Lord can do it any other way. Ja ne znam da li Bog ima neki drugi način. I don't know because he suffered. Ja ne znam jer on je patio. And the word says that we are healed by his wounds. A riječ kaže da smo istjeljeni kroz njegove rane. Because he received wounds on the cross. Jer on je primio rane na križu. And was beaten before he got up there. I bio je pretučen prije nego što je stigao na križ. We're able to be healed because of that. I zbog toga mi možemo biti iscijeljeni. And then we're called to to understand and go with him in the suffering. I tada smo pozvani da to razumijemo i da hodamo s njim u patnji. But I'd say even though that time was really really difficult, it was worth it to know him better. Ali ja kažem čak i ako je to vrijeme bilo jako jako teško, okay, and I haven't even vrijedno jer smo ga bolje upoznali. I started on my subject yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to hurry. <laughs> svoju temu. I don't want you falling asleep on me. Ne želim da mi zaspete ovdje. <laughs> refreshing. The time of refreshing. Osvježenje, vreme na okay, osvježenja. Okay, I don't have osvježenja. I caught a cold in Poland and I've lost part of my voice. U Poljskoj sam se prehladila i izgubila dio glasa. So, so I'm getting healed but it's not there yet so I hope you can bear with me. Uh, Istjeljujem, malo mi je bolje ali još nisam skroz zdrava. Molim okay, vas, the first scripture that the Lord spoke to me Prvi stih koji mi je Bog dao was out of Matthew chapter 11. Bilo je iz Mateja 11. And this is what it says. I ovo kaže. Come to me. Dođite k meni. All you who are weary and burdened. Svi koji ste umorni i opterećeni. And I will give you rest. I ja ću vas okrijepiti. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Uzmite jara moj na se i učite od mene. For I am gentle and humble in heart. Jer sam krotka i ponizna srca. And you will find rest for your souls. Tako ćete naći pokoj svojim dušama. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jer jaram je moj sladak, a moje breme lako. The Holy Spirit throughout the Bible is constantly inviting us into his presence. Duh sveti nas kroz cijelu Bibliju poziva u njegovu prisutnost. And you think that that simple word come i vi biste pomislili da ta jednostavna riječ dođi would be simple. Would be simple to do. Da će to biti jednostavno učiniti. But it's not so simple. Ali to nije tako jednostavno. Ah, we're so busy. Mi smo tako zaposleni. We're so busy with life. Životom. We have children. Imamo djecu. We have houses. Imamo kuće. We have jobs. Imamo poslove. We have to eat. Moramo jesti. We have to shop. Moramo ići kupovati. We have to cook. Moramo kuhati. We have to clean. Čistiti. And that is even counting sleeping. A tu nismo ni ubrojili spavanje. We're really really busy people. Mi smo zaista jako zaposleni ljudi. And it took me years to understand the power of that little word come. I trebali su mi godine da shvatim moć te male riječi dođi. And Mark told me, you know, for pastors that that word out of Matthew 11 might be difficult because they don't see themselves as weary and burdened. Vidiš, rekao mi je Mark, pastori bi možda ovu riječ mogli naći da nije za njih, zato što oni sebe ne vide ni umornima, ni opterećenima. I thought you're kidding. Ja sam mu rekla, ma šta se ti šališ? Everybody gets weary and burdened. Svako se umori i svako se optereti. This life is not so easy. Jer ovaj život nije tako lak. And I've seen some of you and what's going on in your lives. I vidjela sam neke od vas i ono što se događa u vašim životima. Trying to make a living and take care of your family. Pokušavate preživjeti, zaraditi, brinuti se za djecu. Time is very precious. I vrijeme je dragocjeno. 
Hmm. But if we could learn the key to coming. Ali kad bi samo mogli naći ključ za dolazak, za dođi. Because you know just like tonight when you worshiped. Jer vi znate baš kao i večeras kad ste slavili. You're probably really tired from the day. Vrlo ste umorni vjerojatno cijelog dana. But once you worship and allow your spirit to to be touched by God. Ali jednom kad slavite i dopustite da vam Gospod dotakne duh. It never ceases to amaze me. I go out of a meeting more refreshed than when I came in even though I thought I should stay home because I'm tired. Ja se nikad ne mogu prestati čuditi. Svaki put kad izađem sa sastanka, ja sam odmornija nego kad sam došla. Čak i ako sam prije mislila da bi trebala ostati kući. But, but the Lord tells us to come. Ali Bog nam kaže dođi. But we have to come. Ali mi moramo doći. It, we can't do it on the fly. I ne možemo to na brzinu. Because all the distractions need to be gone. Jer sve ono što nas odvlači treba se smiriti. We need to come. Jesus said if you don't Trebamo fall doći. on him, Isus kaže da ako ga slijedimo, then he'll fall on you. Oh, I'd rather, I'd rather fall on him. If you don't if you don't fall on him, he will fall on you. A Isus kaže da ako ne padnete na njega, da će on pasti na vas. I'm going to sing in the spirit. Ja ću pjevati u duhu. And Miriana is going to translate it. Ja ću provoditi. And if you want to follow along, it, it's out of Isaiah 55. Vi možete isto tako čitati, mi smo u Izaiji 55. Dobre dja mori ma za mala mo, ne im ja no ramba ze žej. O svi vi koji ste žedni, dođite na vodu. Ako novaca i nemate, dođite. Bez novaca i bez naplate kupite vina i mlijeka. Bedore melja muža balanande di Kore bez edi anduja malama Jedi, o jedi so uama Undidi a moje kaje A mori bi a mose Amalia ma to mi amol jede Zašto da trošite novac na ono što kruh nije i nadnicu svoju na ono što ne siti Mene poslušajte i dobro ćete jesti i sočna ćete uživati jela Gebore me se ja moji te ja me se to mi čabe sobra Eždebi. Priklonite uho i k meni dođite, poslušajte i duša će vam živjeti. Are you listening to what the spirit is speaking to your heart? Da li slušaš ono što duh govori tvom srcu? Come to me and I will satisfy your soul. Dođi k meni i ja ću zadovoljiti dušu tvoju. You can have everything that the world has to offer. Ti možeš uzeti i imati sve što ovaj svijet nudi. And it won't be enough to satisfy your soul. I to neće biti dovoljno da ti zasiti dušu. You can have houses and lands. Možeš imat kuće i zemlje. You can have yachts. Možeš imat jahte. Homes and swimming pools. Kuće sa bazenima. Nothing. Ništa. Nothing fills up the soul. Ništa ne ispunja dušu. God. Osim Boga. It's the only place that you can come to to be filled up. I to je jedino mjesto gdje možete doći da se ispunite. We heard it before in that scripture and he says listen listen to me and eat what is good. To možemo vidjeti u ovom stihu kad kaže slušajte slušajte i dobro ćete jesti sočna ćete uživati jela. Matthew 5:6. Matej 5:6 says blessed are those who hunger and thirst kaže, for righteousness. Kaže blagoslovljeni su oni koji žeđaju for they will be filled. I koji su gladni pravednosti jer oni će biti ispunjeni. In John 4. I Ivan 4 kaže Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. Remember this is a story of the woman at the well and she was going to get Jesus a drink of water. Kaže svatko ko pije od ove vode ponovno će ožednjeti. Sjećate se to je ona priča o samo o, o ženi koja je sjedila na bunaru. And he said if you would have asked me for a drink of water I would give you water that, and you'll never thirst again. A Isus kaže ako dođeš k meni ja ću ti dati vode od koje više nećeš biti žedna. So that scripture says everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again out of the well. 
but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Dakle taj stih kaže kogod pije vo- ovu vodu ponovno će ožednjeti, misli se na vodu iz bunara, a kogod dođe k meni, pije od mene, više neće biti žedan. Indeed or in fact, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. I zaista kažem vam, ona voda koju vam ja bude dao, u tebi će postati izvor žive vode koja nikad neće prestati. What is he talking about? O čemu on to govori? You know when uh, in in the end of John in the in the 20th glanče, chapter when Jesus poglavio, appeared to the disciples. Kad se Isus pojavio, ukazao učenicima. Let me read just briefly out of that. Dajte da samo kratko pročitamo od toga. verse 19 chapter 20. 19. stih u, u 20. poglavlju. On the evening of that first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood, am, stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Uvečer toga prvoga dana u sedmici dok su vrata kuće gdje bijehu učenici bila zatvorena zbog straha od židova, dođe Isus, stade pred njih te im reče, Mir vama. After he said this, he showed them his hands inside. Rekavši to pokaza im ruke i bok. And the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. I učenici se obradovaše kad vidješe Gospodina. Again Jesus said, "Peace be with you." Zatim im ponovo reče, "Mir vama." As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Kao što je mene poslao Otac, tako i ja šaljem vas. And with that he breathed on them and said, Posle tih riječi dahne u njih i reče im, "Receive the Holy Spirit." Primite Duha Svetoga. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. Kojima oprostite grijehe, oprošteni su im. And if you do not forgive them, they're not forgiven. I kojima ne oprostite, neće im biti opro- oprošteni. This is the water that that scripture is talking about. I to je voda o kojoj govori onaj stih o kojem smo It's a well of eternal life. To je bunar, izvor vječnog života. And this scripture is like as Jesus breathed, it was the breath of regeneration. I o ovom stihu ovaj dah koji je Isus dahnuo bio je dah obnove. It wasn't the baptism. To nije bilo krštenje. It wasn't the overflowing I nije to bilo Spirit. pretjecanje izobilje Duha Svetoga. It's it was a powerful event. To je bio vrlo silan događaj. It was a powerful event. Silan događaj. But not an empowering event. Ali ne događaj koji ih je osilio, to jest koji im je dao silu. Because the disciples when he left were still cowering in fear behind the door. Jer učenici i nakon što Isus otišao još uvijek su se u strahu skrivali iza vrata. So they were regenerated. Dakle oni su bili obnovljeni. They were born again. Ponovno rođeni but they weren't baptized they weren't filled with the holy spirit ali nisu bili kršteni nisu bili ispunjeni duhom svetim <laughs> great scriptures we don't have much time left so i'm going to have to hurry even more <laughs> mora ću malo požuriti jer nemamo više puno vremena uh, maybe let's go to john 7 37 39 ivan 7 you know we're going to be talking a little bit more this evening still and then on sunday about the baptism of the holy spirit još ćemo malo govoriti večeras, a onda u nedjelju o krštenju u Duhu Svetom. And uh, some of you, maybe many of you have already been baptized in the Holy Spirit. Mnogi od vas su već kršteni u Duhu. Great, great if you are. Because it's the power, it's the power to do and to be that which Jesus calls us to do and to be. Jer to je sila koja nam omogućava da postanemo ono na što nas je Isus pozvao. When we learn to walk in the Spirit, because we're filled with the spirit um, we fulfill the fruit of the spirit dakle kad hodamo u duhu osposobljeni smo duhom i ispunjamo could you please mm-hmm. repeat if we that was a, it was a quite a sentence mm-hmm. if we we're, it gives us the power to do and to be that which Jesus called us to do and to be. Mm-hmm. On nam daje ubiti uh, silu da budemo ono na što nas je Isus pozvao da budemo i da donesemo uh, rod, to jest plod koji trebamo donijeti. Go ahead and read uh, 37 to 39. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> U posljednji dan, glavni dan blagdana, Isus je stajao i vikao: "Ako je tko žedan, neka dođe k meni i neka pije tko vjeruje u mene." Kako veli pismo, iz njegove će nutrine poteći potoci žive vode. To reče za duha kojega su imali primiti, oni koji vjeruju u njega. Duh naime ne bijaše još dat, jer Isus ne bi još proslavljen. Što mogu zamoliti čašu vode? Nekog molim vas, baš me. 
So there's that word thirsty again. Evo opet ove riječi žeđ. If you're thirsty. Žedan, ako si žedan. So when we were in uh, chapter 20 out of John, you turn one page and you're in the book of Acts. Dakle, kad smo bili u 20. poglavlju uh, Ivana, dovoljno je okrenuti još jednu stranicu i već smo u dijelima. And now this is what that was talking about. I o tome je u biti, uh, o tome se i radi sve ovo. Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Hmm. Uh. I'm sorry. That was chapter 737. I apologize. Oprostite, to je bilo u sedmom, dakle iz vaše će unutrašnjosti poteći potoci žive vode. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead and read Acts 1:4 and then 4 and 5 and then 7 and 8. Jednoj dok je sjedio s njima za stolom, naloži im da se ne udaljuju od Jeruzalema, već da ondje čekaju obećanje očevo. Obećanje za koje ste čuli od mene. Ivan je krstio vodom, a vi ćete domalo biti kršteni duhom svetim. Ne spada na vas da znate vrijeme i priliku koje je otac odredio svojom vlasti, ali primit ćete snagu pošto duh sveti dođe na vas, pa ćete mi biti svjedoci u Jeruzalemu, u svoj judeji, u Samariji i sve do kraja zemlje. So they were to wait dakle, oni su trebali čekati za učinje koje je otac odredio na dar koji im je otac obećao. And then read uh, chapter 2 verse 4. They have now were at the day of Pentecost. I na Pentekost, znači. It really deserves more time, but we're not going to give it. Uh, trebalo bi ovome posvetiti više vremena, ali ne stignemo. Svi se oni napuniše duha svetoga, te počeše govoriti tuđim jezicima, kako ih je već duh nadahnjivao da govore. And so, they began to speak in other tongues, as the spirit enabled them. Dakle, oni su počeli govoriti u stranim jezicima onako kako ih je duh osposobljavao. That is a key word. I to je ključna riječ. As the spirit enabled them. Onako kako ih je duh osposobljavao. He said we would receive power. Mi smo primili moć. Do you have power in your life? Imate li moć u vašem životu? I don't know. What do you think? Ja ne znam, šta vi mislite? Do you have power to become the person that the scriptures talk about who has the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, gentleness, kindness? Imate li vi moć da postanete osoba s onim uh, voćem uh, koje duh govori, znači ljubav, strpljivost, mm-hmm. milost? Uh, do you have power to tell people that you love about Jesus? Imate li vi uh, moć da kao Isus ljubite ljude? Or is that difficult for you? Ili je to za vas teško? I understand that. Ja to razumijem. It's difficult for some personalities too. It makes a difference what your personality is. I teško je čak možda i teže za neke osobnosti ako imaš nekakvu jedan neku vrst karaktera za tebe ponekad But teže. But interestingly enough. Ali zaista interesantno. He didn't say that. Da on to nije rekao. <laughs> See, some of you will get power but some of you won't. On nije rekao neki od vas ćete biti osposobljeni do vi ćete a vi drugi nećete ovisi o karakteru you know we all receive the power of the holy spirit mi svi primamo silu duha svetoga it's dynamis is a word for dynamite it's explosion dynamis je riječ za dinamit za eksploziju and no longer after these guys in the in the in the second chapter that we read about no longer were they hiding behind the door i vidite, ovi ljudi o kojima sad čitamo u drugom poglavlju dijela apostolskih više se ne skrivaju iza vrata. Peter, in fact, in verse 14, u stvari, Petar u 14. stihu, the one who denied Christ three times, onaj koji je zanijekao Krista tri puta, he stands up and starts to preach, on ustaje i počinje propovjedati because he had received the power of the Holy Spirit. zato jer je primio silu Duha Svetoga. Hmm. Verse 17 says, in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. A 17. stih kaže u posljednjeću vrijeme veli gospodin izliti od svoga duha na svako ljudsko biće. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Te će proricati vaši sinovi i vaše kćeri. Your young men will see visions. Vaši će mladići imati viđenja. Your old men will dream dreams. A vaši starci sne. And that's happening. I to se dešava. Have you been paying attention to the news lately? Da li možda pratite vijesti u zadnje vrijeme? Yeah. Da? It's not too good, is it? Nije baš neko It's a little scary. razdoblje, jel da, malo yeah. je strašno. You'd think we'd learn. Čovjek bi pomislio da ćemo naučiti nešto. 
I was walking in the woods today and I came upon three men in the woods. Danas sam šetala kroz šumu i našla sam na tri čovjeka. And they were really arguing. I zaista su se svađali. And one was pushing one of them. I jedan je gurao drugog. And I thought, yeah, I think I'll walk that way. I ja sam pomislila, dobro, ja ću krenuti ovim putem. We need God. Nama je potreban Bog. We need God in our neighborhoods. U našim susjedstvima. We need God in our lives and our families. U našem životu, u našim obiteljima. We need God in our world. U našem svijetu nam je potreban Bog. We need to get everybody filled with the Holy Spirit. I potrebno je da se svi napune Duhom Svetim. Because when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, your life is transformed. Jer kad se ispuniš Duhom Svetim, tvoj se život mijenja. That transformation happens immediately as you exchange your life for his life. I ta se transformacija dešava odmah čim svoj život zamijeniš za njegov. And it's a promise. You don't get to stay the same. I to je obećanje. Nećeš ostati Said, isti. He who began a good work in you will finish that Jer work. onaj koji je započeo dobro djelo u vama, on će ga i dovršiti. So his purpose is to take that dead life that you had and transform it into his resurrected life. I njegova je namjera da uzme vaš život i da ga preobrazi u njegov uskrsli život. Mm. And, and what an exchange. I kakva je to samo razmjena. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not go through the rest of these scriptures. I always do this with translation. I always think I have more time. <laughs> Nećemo čitati ove druge stihove koje sam si zabilježila, uvijek se tako prevarim sa prijevodom. Uvijek mislim da imam više vremena. Have you guys ever sang in the spirit? Jeste li vi ikada pjevali u duhu? As a group? Kao grupa. Okay. Um, I wanted to tell you just a little bit before we do that about when I received uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Najprije prije nego što to probamo, ja ću vam ja vam želim reći nešto uh, o vremenu kad sam ja bila kršćanin duhu. I was 20 years of age. Imala sam 20 godina. No church background. Uopće nisam poznavala crkvu. I think when I was five, my mom and dad shoved us out and had us go to Sunday school, but they didn't go themselves. I u stvari kad smo imali pet godina naši roditelji su nas nedjeljom nedjeljom tjerali u And školu I, I, u crkvi ali oni nisu išli. I had ran into a girlfriend that had received Christ. I naletjela sam na prijateljicu koja je primila Krista. And she started telling me what happened in her life. I ona mi je počela pričati što se njoj desilo. So she invited me to a baptism on the weekend. I pozvala me da dođem na krštenje taj vikend. In the river. In the river. U rijeci. But interesting thing ali interesantna stvar um, uh, I wasn't a believer yet. Tad još nisam bila vjernik. <laughs> She wanted me to get baptized. Ona je željela da se i ja krstim. And I, I didn't know why. Ja nisam znala zašto. She was only a Christian about a month. <laughs> ona je bila kršćanka tek mjesec dana. So she, she didn't know any better. Tako da ni ona baš nije znala. So um, I went to service with her on a Sunday evening. Međutim tu nedjelju navečer otišla sam s njom na službu. And she told me what I needed to do to be saved. I ona mi je rekla što trebam učiniti da bi bila spašena. And she said you need to ask Jesus to come into your life. Rekla je moraš pozvati Isusa u svoj život. To forgive you of your sins. Da bi ti on oprostio tvoje grijehe. And, and give your life to him and then you'll be born again. I daj mu svoj život i bićeš ponovno rođena. So I sat through the whole service. I ja sam prosjedila kroz cijelu tu službu. You understand I didn't know any Bible. I razumijet, probajte razumijet, nisam uopće poznala Bibliju. Let's see, I have to ask Bibliju. God to come into my life. Zamolila sam Boga da uđe u moj život. I went over and over that during the service. I stalno sam to ponavljala cijelu večer. I didn't hear a word the pastor said. I nisam čula niti jednu riječ koju pastor govori. Because in those days we used to wait till the service was over with and then we went in the back room and got prayed for. Jer tada u to, u to vremena mi smo čekali da pastor završi so, govoriti, otišli bi u stražnju sobu i ljudi bi se molili za so that's what I was waiting for. I na to sam u stvari i čekala. So I went in the back room with her to pray. Znači otišla sam u tu sobu da se molimo. And I prayed with her. I molila sam se sa mojom prijateljicom. And then she said, "Do you want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit?" I onda mi ona rekla, "Želiš li biti krštena u Duhu Svetom?" Uh, I, I said, is it from God? A ja sam pita, je to od Boga? <laughs> I'd never heard it before. Nikad ništa o tome nisam čula. I'd never heard of it before. O tome mi niko nije rekao. But I knew if it was from God, I wanted it. Ali znala sam da ako je od Boga, da so to želim. So she said, let's pray together and we'll ask Jesus to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. I ona je rekla, gle, ajmo se moliti zajedno i zamolit ćemo Boga da te krsti u Duhu Svetom. And within seconds? I za par sekundi se borla mašista valavuko rebere de diabarapašta. She can't translate that. 
I was just about to say. Oh, okay. Ovo ne mogu prevesti. <laughs> Uglavnom počela je govoriti u yeah. jezicima. Amazing. It was amazing. Bilo je to nevjerojatno. I'd never heard it before. I didn't know what it was. Ja to nikad prije nisam čula. Šta je to? There are some people that are taught against it. I neke ljude se čak podučava protiv toga. But I had no teaching at all. Ali ja nisam imala nikakvog podučava. So I had nothing to hinder God from giving me the gift of the Holy Spirit. Tako da u meni nije bilo prepreke da mi Bog da dar. <laughs> Mark had a girlfriend before me. Uh, Mark je imao jednu djevojku prije mene. Hmm. And uh, m- probably more than one, but this particular one. Možda i više od jedne, ali recimo ova jedna. He tells a story that um, a lot of her friends were being baptized in the Holy Spirit and receiving a heavenly language. On je pričao kako su mnogi njeni prijatelji bili kršteni u duhu and, i progovorili u jezicima. And she felt really bad because she couldn't seem to receive the baptism. A on njoj je bilo krivo, u stvari loše se osjećala jer nikako da se krsti u duhu. So one night she was in her in her bedroom. I jedne večeri, jedne noći dok je bilo u svojoj and, sobi. And she wanted to receive the baptism. Htjela je biti krštena. She wanted to receive a prayer language. Željela je primiti svoj jezik molitve. And so she thought, okay, I'm just going to stand before the Lord. I rekla je, dobro, ja ću ustati pred Boga. And if he enables me, as the scripture says. I ako me on osposobi kao što riječ kaže. Then, ah! <laughs> tada, ah! She just started making noise. Ona je počela dizati buku. Hoping it would eventually become a language. U nadi da će to postati jezik. Da! Well, it didn't work. Uh, nije funkcioniralo. <laughs> But she finally gave up. Ta, I na kraju je odustala. And you can imagine you could only do something like that in your own bedroom. <laughs> where nobody was. I u stvari tako nešto možete i učiniti samo u svojoj sobi gdje vas so niko she, ne vidi. She gave up. Odustala je. And she finally said, oh Lord, I just praise you. I rekla je, oh, gospode, ja te I just slavim. magnify your name. Ja slavim tvoje ime. You're so worthy of all of my praise. Ti si tako dostojan sve moje I love slavlje. you Jesus. Volim te Isuse. I thank you that you saved me. Hvala ti da si me spasio. I thank you that you're so worthy God. Hvala ti što si ti dostojan. Sebo romo cebere de diabura balabandi. So it was it just flowed out of gratefulness and praise out of her heart. I vidite to je poteklo jednostavno iz zahvalnosti i slavljenja u njenom srcu. It's not something that we can work for. Nije to nešto što možemo zaraditi. We don't deserve it. We can't do anything to deserve it. Ne možemo učiniti ništa da bi to zaslužili. And the same faith that you use to say yes to Jesus. I ista vjera koju koristiš da bi rekao da Isusu. It's the same faith that you use to receive the baptism. Ista je vjera kojom primaš krštenje. It's, you don't have a, have to have special faith for that. Ne moraš imati posebnu vjeru za to. Because why? Zašto? It's a gift. Jer je to dar. It's a gift you just receive it. To je dar, ti jednostavno to primaš. And if you don't have it yet. I ako ga još nemaš. You don't experience power in your life. Nećeš osjetiti silu u svom you životu. You can receive that tonight. A to možeš večeras primiti. You can receive it here. Možeš ovdje sada primiti. Often in the book of Acts they received uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit by the laying on of hands. Često u dijelima apostolskim čitamo da su ljudi primili duha tako što su na njih polagali ruke. But you can receive it in your room. Ali ti to možeš primiti u svojoj sobi. There's no uh, context that you have to have going no no atmosphere that you have to have. You can just receive it from God because it's a gift. Nema tu neke posebne atmosfere ili nekakvih posebnih pravila. To možeš God is so good. Bog je tako dobar. I was just taking a look in the book of Acts again. They they saw and they heard. Ponovno sam pogledala u knjigu dijela apostolskih. Oni su vidjeli i on oni su čuli. The, on the day of Pentecost they saw and they heard them speaking in heavenly languages. Na dan Pentekosta oni su ih vidjeli i oni su ih čuli govoriti u jezicima. It's interesting. I gave a word in the Bulgarian church last week and they said I was speaking some words of um of gypsy. 
Interesantno, evo, prošli tjedan sam govorila u jednoj bugarskoj crkvi i rekli su mi da sam govorila na romskom jeziku. And we know that in this portion of scripture, they, the people that came to Jerusalem, they heard their languages from their, from their own countries. A vidite, u ovom odjeljku dijela apostolskih ljudi koji su sa svih strana došli u Jeruzalem, čuli su ih kako govore na njihovom jeziku. And, and I know that we can pray actually different languages. I ja znam da mi možemo moliti na drugim, na više jezika. If you will pray in the spirit, the Lord can give you a another language. Jer ako moliš u duhu, Bog ti može dati drugi jezik. God is not limited. Jer Bog nije ograničen. He's not in a box. On nije u kutiji. We don't tell him what he does. Mi mu nećemo reći šta da čini. He does what he wants. Jer on čini ono što on hoće. And he gives gifts. He gives spiritual gifts. I on daje darove, daje duhovne darove. It's a gift from the Father. To je dar od Oca. Mm. I would like to ask first of all, um, if you could stand this evening for prayer, if you If you need prayer for just things going on in your life. Uh, zamoliti one koji imaju potrebu <coughs> da se za njih moli samo zbog nekih stvari koje prolaze u životu da ustanu. Maybe you have difficulty right now in finances. Možda imaš problema s financijama. Maybe you have difficulty with family. Možda s obitelji. Maybe you have a difficult child. Možda imaš teško dijete. Maybe you have a physical healing. Možda ti je potrebno tjelesno iscijeljenje. In yourself or in someone you know or in your family. Za tebe ili za nekog koga poznaješ u obitelji. But if you would stand, we we just want to pray with you. Ali ako ustaneš, mi se želimo moliti za tebe. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hajde. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hvala ti Isuse. Praise your name. Slavimo tvoje ime. Praise your name, Jesus. We lift our hands to you. Bože, mi dižemo svoje ruke k tebi. And we thank you, Lord, that you are so desirous of meeting our needs. I hvala ti što ti toliko želiš susresti naše potrebe. In fact, your God asks you, what do you want him to do for you? I zaista tvoj Bog te pita što želiš da učinim za tebe. It's the question that he asked in the Bible and it's a question for you. To je pitanje koje on postavio u Bibliji i to je pitanje koje ti on postavlja. So, he's asking you what do you want him to do for you? Dakle, on te pita što želiš da učiniš za tebe. And would you go ahead and speak out of your mouth what it is you want him to do? I htjela bi da izgovorite što je to što želite da Bog učini za vas. Izgovorite, recite. Lord God Almighty you the Holy Spirit have all power and authority and you said if we had just a small seed faith like the grain of a mustard seed we could say to this mountain be cast into the sea that seed is really small and I know tonight God that there, th th those believers these believers that are here they have faith even to come out of your house and come to worship takes faith čak da izađu iz kuće i da dođu i da te slave i za to je potrebna vjera. It's a spiritual thing that you do. To je duhovna stvar koju činite. You come to worship. Vi dolazite. You come to hear the word. Obožavati. Because you know the word will fill up your life. I čuti riječ jer znate da će vas riječ ispuniti. You have faith. Vi imate vjeru. Let's just reach out to Jesus. Posegnimo za Isusom. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for these needs that have been expressed this evening. Bože, hvala ti za ove potrebe koje smo večeras izrazili. Let's just begin to pray in the spirit. Počnimo se moliti u duhu. Sobre berededi amorobo djabala barravala bandi. Sobre berededi aburi bidibi. Shandala labo sobre. Keti će sada moliti za vas. 